Sticky Web is one of the best moves in the game, but it's only given to bad Pokemon. Still, in Gen 9, those otherwise bad Pokemon get used a lot because Sticky Web is that good. Look at the Ubers tier, the tier meant for the best legendary Pokemon. Rebombi is used a lot in that tier purely because of Sticky Web. It begs the question, what would the metagame be like if an actually good Pokemon had Sticky Web instead? We can create hypotheticals like what if elite Pokemon Volcarona had Sticky Web, and we will do that later in the video, but I actually have something more concrete. There were two metagames where Sticky Web was on a good Pokemon, and they both had two very different results. We can use our learnings from those two metagames and apply it to what we think would happen if a good Pokemon did have Sticky Web. The first metagame was Little Cup. Cutifly, unlike its evolution Rebombi, or any other Sticky Web Pokemon for that matter, is a statistically great Pokemon in its format. Sticky Web Cutifly dominated every Little Cup metagame, and unfortunately, it wasn't pretty. But first, a word from our sponsor. AFK Journey is an ethereal fantasy RPG. With AFK Journey, it's not just about idle gaming. You're diving into a breathtaking universe with stunning 3D art that comes alive on your screen. You'll navigate intricate gameplay mechanics and revel in the PC-compatible side-scrolling action. You take on the role of the mage Merlin and gather heroes from six factions to formulate winning tactics and conquer each challenge with precision. With a hex battle map, you have the power to strategically assemble and position your hero's lineup to outsmart the competition. You explore huge diverse maps, solve fun puzzles, and meet interesting NPCs. Beyond the familiarity of AFK Arena's heroes, Journey also added equipment resonance too. And there's more. AFK Journey's official release is a treasure trove offering more than 40 heroes that can be obtained for free, including epics to amplify your RPG strategy. Additionally, you will receive 200 plus free pulls by progressing through the game and completing events like 7 Day Login. If you're ready for a bonus, use my exclusive code AFKJOURNEY88 valid from March 27th to May 27th to get 100 diamonds and a whopping 18,888 gold coins. AFK Journey is now available on iOS, Google Store for mobile, and on AFK Journey's official website for the PC. It's free to play. Don't miss out and play now and let the adventure begin while you're AFK. Little Cup is a metagame where you use level 5 Pokemon who are capable of evolving but haven't yet. It is based on the original Little Cup from the Pokemon Stadium games. Cutify was banned very early on in Generation 7 and in Generation 9, but in Generation 8, it had a long time in the limelight before getting banned. It is no exaggeration to say that the Cutify era was entirely dominated by Sticky Web. You had to build your team with the assumption that Sticky Web was going to be on both sides of the field every single game. Every team used Sticky Web, and any Pokemon that was vulnerable to Sticky Web was borderline unviable. For example, Nasty Pot Spritzy was a sweeping Pokemon that initially enjoyed popularity, but once the Cutify meta started dominating, it became irrelevant in favor of other sweepers like Nasty Pot Vullaby or Bulk Up Rufflet. Air Balloon became a common item to avoid Sticky Web and had the added benefit of making a Pokemon immune to Diglett's Arena Trap. Heavy Duty Boots is ordinarily an item that is never used in Little Cup because you get more value from Eviolite or Berry Juice, but Pokemon like Ponyta or Cutify itself sometimes used Heavy Duty Boots for the surprise factor. What made Cutify so strong is that it was independently an elite Pokemon even without Sticky Web. Its speed is incredible and its power is good in a Little Cup context. Moonblast could destroy a lot of the competition, even getting a one-hit KO on Berry Juice Ponyard with Life Orb. Psychic could hit Poison-type Pokemon like Marini, and its only real counter was Pharaoh Seed. The best defoggers like Vullaby and Timber simply faint to Moonblast. Cutify had a perfect offensive move pool with Moonblast, Psychic, U-Turn, Sticky Web, and don't forget, Quiver Dance. Cutify had a dangerous Quiver Dance moveset that could sweep an entire team. It's crazy to think, but Cutify wouldn't run Quiver Dance all that often. Quiver Dance is one of the best boosting moves in the game, and any Pokemon that can use it does use it, except here. Its sticky web idea was that good. Cutify would end up getting banned, but that capsule in time shows us what it could look like if sticky web was on a good Pokemon. But to be honest, it might have slanted too far in one direction. Cutify wasn't just a good Pokemon, it was an elite one. 
Even if it didn't get banned for sticky web, it would probably be too broken with its quiver dance idea or just a regular old attacking idea too. Furthermore, Little Cup inherently makes sticky web better because LC is an offensive format and sticky web is an offensive playstyle. Furthermore, Heavy Duty Boots is much worse in Little Cup simply because it's not Eviolite. But there was another metagame where Sticky Web was on a good Pokemon. Generation 8 PU, the 5th tier. Ribombi was a 5th rate Pokemon and found its home as being an elite Pokemon down in PU. And interestingly, Ribombi didn't use Sticky Web that often down there. It's a top Pokemon with its Quiver Dance and utility movesets with U-Turn. A lot of it is the metagame around it. Charizard is one of the best defoggers and completely shuts down Rabombi, and there happens to not be a lot of overt sticky web abusers in the tier. If you're using a more balanced or defensive team, you don't benefit from sticky web as much as you would benefit from having a quiver dance option late in the game. That dynamic is the exact opposite of the Cutify example. But PU has its own inherent flaws to be noted when using as a comparison. For one, at a lower tier, certain roles may not exist because they're taken by the higher tiers. For example, there's no good defiant Pokemon to punish Defog. In this exact scenario of Gen 8 PU, it could simply be that this particular meta was bad for Sticky Web and that the result can't be generalized further. With these two examples of what can happen at the extreme, let's revisit the original question. The real answer is that it can't be generalized and would depend on exact scenarios. But it's fun to theorycraft, so let's do it anyway. Buzzwool and Volcarona are the two best Bug-type Pokémon in Standard Play. What if they had Sticky Web? It's probably somewhere in the middle of those two extremes. Volcarona is the more interesting one. Would it use a Sticky Web attacker moveset instead of Quiver Dance? I'd argue that's realistic. Volcarona is still a base 135 special attacker with 100 speed. It could easily run an offensive sticky web idea with moves like Fire Blast or Giga Drain. That much power means you have to respect it and there's very few Pokemon who could hazard remove versus Volcarona. Pokemon like Rapid Spin Great Tusk or Defog Corviknight would have no chance. All the while, it still has its threatening Quiver Dance moveset. You would have to prepare for both and you wouldn't necessarily know which one it is at Team Preview. In my opinion, because of its raw power, Volcarona would lean towards the Cutify model more. In Generation 8 onwards, Volcarona could mandate Heavy Duty boosts on most Pokémon as I think it would lead to a fundamental shift. Right now, Sticky Web is an entire type archetype. You lead the game with your bad Sticky Web Pokémon and then back yourself to win the game with 5 Pokémon and that Sticky Web support. But if Volcarona had Sticky Web, you wouldn't have to build an entire playstyle around it. You can if you want to, but you can also simply treat it like another hazard like Stealth Rock that would likely get on the field throughout a game. Sticky Web is arguably as good as Stealth Rock, and Stealth Rock is already on every team. If you give a good distribution to Sticky Web, you might have Sticky Web on every team. And in metagames before Heavy Duty Boots was created, I honestly think Volcarona might be banworthy. That's the power of how good Sticky Web could be. On the other hand, I think Buzzwool leans more into how Ribombi was in Gen 8 PU. It's not as explosive as Volcarona. It's not going to Quiver Dance sweep you, it's not going to destroy you with a base 135 Fire Blast. But it can easily get up Sticky Web throughout a game. It can find one opportunity with its high physical defense and leverage that into what it needs to do. But what do you need it to do? Maybe on a more defensive team, you'd rather have Toxic than Sticky Web. It's also much easier to defog versus a Buzzwool than a Volcarona because most defoggers are flying type Pokemon and Buzzwool's bug fighting type would match up poorly. A good sticky web Pokemon likes to have good offenses to deter hazard removers and Buzzwool has good offenses but it's not as good as Volcarona. It's a nuanced topic and as with anything with speculation, it's ultimately an opinion. Do you agree with my analysis? Let me know down below.